Hey, so it's Marcy from Printapot here, and I wanted to show you our medium sized elephant uh, fresh succulents. Um, so, this guy can be purchased with a succulent or it can be purchased as a gift box. Um, and he has a really cute face. And this is the inside. Um, he has a tail and this is what he looks like so comparing to the size of my phone that's the size so this is a Google Pixel 3a so it's smaller than a phone um, fits in the palm of the hand uh, this is the blue color um, there are no drainage holes in this one um, and that is a design a design decision that we made um, it is possible to put drainage holes um, but uh, we would probably have to do that manually so um, this one I'm actually going to plant in moss for a customer so I have a few things here. I have a Horthia, and I do have um, a different Horthia, which is pure green, but I like the white stripes on this. Um, so it's a zebra plant, a uh, Horthia attenuata, I think. Um, and it sort of uh, offsets all of that green. And I have some uh, forest moss here which we're going to use as the potting uh, medium. stress test see if any if the plant comes out or anything um, but the plant feels and looks snug inside of there um, this is what it looks like at the end it's very cute Let's see So um, you can get the elephant in a variety of colors. We do have a mini elephant, which is much smaller than this, um, but it is a very cute gift for anyone who is an elephant lover. Um, and uh, it's not that hard to take care of either. Succulents can thrive in moss. I would say to water this in the sink and get the moss wet and then turn it upside down to drain all of the excess water so you're basically just getting the moss wet so that um, the roots of the plant can absorb that moisture you don't want to keep water in there because succulents do not like uh, waterlogged roots so um, just get the uh, moss moist and let dry thoroughly. Um, personally, I would probably water it once or twice a month. Maybe like once a month during the winter and then twice a month during the growing months. Um, so like spring, summer, uh, maybe twice a month or more often if you have it like outdoors where the heat and the sunlight um, would let it uh, dry faster, but if you keep this outside where it can absorb or get rain um, It's going to get really waterlogged. So I would suggest to keep this indoors um, But if you want to have it outdoors, I would suggest making some drainage holes here in the belly um, 
and we can either make the drainage holes for you or you can do that yourself uh, using a soldering iron or maybe a drill. Uh, just do it very carefully, I would say. Okay, so this is our medium-sized succulent elephant pot. Very cute.